You're still prone on the ground. Uh, I dropped my contact lens. I'm I'm looking for it. Got it. Got oh it. yeah, the deep spawn dropped you. I was like, why? What the hell made you prone? But it was the deep spawn with his trip attack. Oh uh, okay. No, it was his contact lens. For sure. Okay, giant pansy, it's your turn. Fair enough. Oh wow, you really are swarmed. Damn. I see a lot of uh, a lot of critical numbers there. That's a minus six to the confirm macro at the last two macros just because I don't have a confirm fill lightning lunge, but uh still does what I need it to do. No, my favorite part is none of those hits are high enough to hit the dire bule. Um, excuse the fuck out of me, John. It's okay. It means its touch is very good. You got this. Uh, yeah, the best one in there me. is a 50 by the looks of it. Yeah, there's a the minus six on the power attack before. Yeah. Oh, okay. So without the minus six and the power attack, you should be fine. Theoretically, for some hits. I'll take it. Oh, wow, you just smoked it out, right? Really is a gamble on what happens. <laughs> you hear all the magic numbers. Oh, sweet! Numbers happened. Devastation. I have a feeling this is exactly the kind of fighter Tamar had in mind for one of her, like, followers. You never know what's going to happen when he rolls the dice. Exactly. That is exactly how it should work. Okay, then we're on to Orion Paste. Well, if the Grick's dead, I'm not going to fucking waste the greater haste on it. Um, I'm going to wait for the belays for those if they show up. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a blinding strike on oh that one's already blind he failed to save right now so I'm gonna do a blinding strike on this one which is arcane strike modifier is uh, 13 and my fucking macro still isn't working Does a 17 hit his touch AC? Uh, probably. Uh, he is four and one and one for size, yeah. Okay, so he is currently blind for like nine rounds until he makes a save. You're currently standing in a threatened square. Yes. He does get an opportunity to attack okay. against me while I cast that spell. Yes. Oh, rolls a two. He fails. Which is luck. Plus one, he'll take that. Thirty hit on you. Oh no, your armor uh, class no, is thirty-eight. Not. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. then he won't waste his luck on it. Okay, so he is currently blind. Um, and then I'm going to do the same on the guy in the back. Uh, D20, 18 plus 13, that's going to hit. Uh, do, 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 do. So he is blind. I believe they make... Do they get to make opportunity attacks when they're blinded? Uh, no. When you can't see, nope. you can't make attacks of opportunity. Okay. 
Perfect. So he is also blind. Sweet. The guy in the back doesn't um, get an attack. Oh, you mean the guy in front gets one on you if he can see you when you cast it again. Yeah, but he can't because he's blind. All three of these Smilodons are blind right now. Um, and at that point, I'm going to five foot back to here so I can deal with one Smilodon at a fucking time. And that is my turn. Then while you're up. You there? You there? That, that would be a move action. Um, yeah, because the kip up is 25. All right, I'll do uh, two arrows in the uh, deep spawn then. How much of my DR do I pass bypass with the uh, plus five? Oh, but ten, I think. Yeah, I think it's just the good. That's it for me. Yeah, magic, cold iron, and silver is four, and then good is another four. Okay, then it is the Smilodon's turn. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. I even created a new macro and it doesn't work. A new macro for what? My uh, arcane strikes. How are you plus 33? No, no, no. That was, that's my mage sword. I was just trying, I was testing to see if my other macros worked. That oh. wasn't, that's separate. That was a test. That was my fault. That wasn't in turn or in play. Okay, so the one smile of dawn on uh, Ferenc will attack him. Oh, he needs the roll of saves. Oh yeah, he gets a save to be yeah, that blind. blind. Yeah, his fortitude's twenty-two. He makes it, so he's not blind. Nope, he's no longer blind. I I got the token. There we go. Forty six, thirty seven, and forty. I assume they're all hits on you, Ferrets? Correct. The forty six does bad. Thirty nine, nice. Okay, so he does three D six plus eleven. I bet all my dice are gone. 
Yep, all my dice are gone. Seriously, too much to ask to remember 10 dice rolls. Okay, so 20, 21, and a max for the bite. And 17 and 14 for the two claws. Sorry, what's the 20 and 21 for? Does the bite do times three? Yeah, bite is times three. So 20, 21, oh, okay. and a max. And then the... Uh, Claws do 17 and 14, and then he gets to do his rig. Uh, I'll go ahead and use my twinned uh, lesser closed wounds for my staff because I think I will fall unconscious otherwise. Okay. Another thing, Ferrets, remember you don't necessarily have to heal me if I get low. Uh, I get 178 hit points when I hit 1 HP. Oh yeah, same for me. I forgot that part. Well, either way, I'll do it. No sense wasting contingency. Okay. Um, then 22 points from the extra raking. Then it is the deep spawn's turn. Deep Spawn will cast Heal on himself. Oh. And he'll cast Hold Person on Ference. Did you really roll your Spellcraft check? Uh, no. How much damage did you do? 32. 32 with two hits or just one hit? Uh, two hits. Was it cluster shots? I don't know how that works with concentration. Still yeah, two separate true. arrows. Okay, yeah, it's probably super easy. You just stick them in the same spot. What was the bigger uh, I damage? I have uh, freedom of movement. Oh, have I hit oh, you before? Oh, uh, no, you haven't hit me before, so he wouldn't know that. Unless he has some sort of magic vision. No, I've just been going around the crowd trying it on everyone. and um, Yeah, it makes sense. I don't remember who I tried it on. Okay, well then he'll use his action to gain plus four cover. Interesting. Okay, then we are on to Ferenc. Uh, so I took what, 65 damage, so I'm probably not going to be casting any spells here. Uh, I already used my staff. I'll just use a healing touch on myself. And that'll be my turn. Actually, I guess if the Grick's dead, I'll shuffle five feet over here. Oh, and a heal five from regeneration. Okay, and then we're back to initiative.
Ugh, Smilodon's rule. Total crap. Okay, Xander, you're up first. I will five foot and full attack this thing. Okay, that is the turn. Okay, France, you're up. Uh, I will heal myself the staff. I want to heal five for turn. Uh, five foot step up. Yeah, Xander's still healthy. Uh, five foot step back away. Why did you That's step up? So I could see Xander. I, he was obscured. I guess I could have just used greater status for that. But uh, I don't don't really have anything else to do with my action. Nope, that's fair. I was just surprised that you stepped up to the Smilodon since it seemed like you were stepping away from the Smilodon. Yeah, but then I realized I... Well, so I can partially see Xander, so I, I guess I wouldn't. But uh, either way, I, I don't see any point wasting spells when uh, the um, the aberrations down the hall and the Smilodon has really nasty crits, admittedly, but uh, otherwise isn't too scary. Oh, actually, he also has a minus one luck from his prayer. Uh, I, I won't re retcon it, but for future reference, that's, that's my turn. Okay, well, I'll remember that on your turn. Yeah, in part three, my fault. Nope, it's 100% your fault. Your spell, you track it. Fine. Okay, Ryan, you're up. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, if I reblind him, then. He'll just attack me. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'll reblind him. Uh, D20. That's a natural fail. So, no, looks like I'm not reblinding him. So, um, I can't really move. I'm going to fast cast, uh, greater shield. So he takes two opportunity attacks on me. That's going to miss. Oh, 36 is a miss. 38 AC. Okay, well he'll look at with with, with with greater shield it becomes forty four. Yeah, but it's not you don't have greater shield when he attacks you. Not the first time, correct, but the second time I Does will. Does he? Uh, did you count the minus one luck for prayer? Ooh. I did not. So he does still miss. Okay, well then he'll save his luck once again. I really gotta start taking combat reflexes. That's my turn. Okay, then it is the Deep Spawn's turn. Uh, 
Oh, shit. I should have done that, but it's okay. Oh, I love it. He will move up. I think he'll target Vanwa because he's got a bow. Even though his armor... Oh, his armor class is up higher, but... Ah. Do we care about a two? Yeah, it's still not going to be a hit even with luck. Well, we'll look up the nineteen or the uh, eighteen. Forty three, that's confirmed. It has a three lock, right? Yep. Cool. Oh yeah, it's affected by the prayer too. I didn't even notice that. Yep, anything with the heart on it. Yeah, I just didn't notice it on the token. Oh, sorry, there's only two attacks in there. 20 and 19, and then a max. And then he will roll his second set of attack. There we go. We can use the extra damage there. And that... Yeah, fuck it. Let's hit him with another critical. He gets six attacks on a standard? Yep, he's got six arms. Monsters don't generally get uh, iter iterative attacks unless they're like humanoids, like giants and whatnot. Confirm with a crit. So we already got one damage. We need one more. And then another max. Is it a is it a crit with the uh, prayer on him? Yep. Okay. Okay, then it's Van Wall's turn. Remember, there's two maxes in there as well. Yeah, I'm working the damage. Did you stay prone last round? No, I stood up last round. You hit, I... Gonna fail, so I just put myself on the ground. Oh, okay. That is fair. Okay, then he will spring back. How much? Uh, how much damage did I take? Oh, yes. Hold good. on. He's doing the math. As a single attack, I'll fire two arrows. I'm hanging out with Sean too much. Well, that is my standard. It doesn't say standard, it says single. I know, it's just... Standard sounds weird. And he'd rather be incorrect than weird. 
Sorry. You're not sorry. Okay, then it's the Smilodon's turn. So he'll move up so he can attack Ferenc. Rude. Oh, baby! But he only has plus two luck, so that doesn't help him. That sucks, because that can be another triple bite. Twenty-four, eighteen, and eighteen. Then the other two will roll their fortitude save. They both make it. So the first one will move up on a run. Actually, he'll move through and jump over to the other side. There's a pillar in the middle of the room. Yep. But there's also 20-foot landing space there, too. He's not a gelatinous cube. He doesn't take up a 10 by 10 square. Oh, there's another friend. I use that term loosely. Sorry, what was that? I said there's another friend. You know, you really don't get along with... Oh, Magical baby. Cats. That one he can lock up. Yeah. Let's skip that, because that's just a normal crit. Let's wait for a good bite. Oh, that's his claw? Yeah, I'll, he does uh, uh, I'll do a lesser close on myself. I haven't taken enough damage to not make the concentration check yet. Okay, 23, 19, and 21. And the last one will move up on Orion. I think at this point, his armor class is so insane he probably can't hit. Yep, pretty close. What's your armor class? 44. Why don't you have anything on your token? Oh, that's your stone skin, that's why. Well, I have stone skin. Oh, the only thing I don't have marked is my greater deflection, which I'll just mark with that. So I have greater No, I just clicked deflection. on the stone skin and didn't have your armor class, that's all. Oh, gotcha, okay. I just realized I clicked on the wrong token. Okay. So that is his action. Then the last Smilodon will just move up and ready. How many Smilodons did you have there already? Apparently four. No, we only had three. One, two, three, right there in front of you. Well, you just oh, said the last okay. one will move up. Yeah, but you can't see the last one. Oh, okay. There are four Smilodons oh. in play, but only three of them are in your line of sight. Oh, gotcha. found okay. it. I'm looking the wrong way. Okay, then that is everyone, so we're back to initiative. Both of these monsters are incredibly slow. I need I need to add an epic uh, initiative uh, feat. I mean, it makes sense. 
have plus 12 fucking initiative. That'd then we have the game. Uber initiative. Then we have the the Divine initiative. And then we have the Superior Divine initiative. The Chosen the Ones un- initiative. The, the, yeah, the Chosen Ones initiative. Plus 25. Plus 25 luck bonus to initiative checks. Fuck. Man, you're already stopping at this make-believe feat. Plus 25 initiative bonus. Luck initiative bonus means you'd get plus 30 because you'd always roll a 20. That's the point. Exactly. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Superior initiative is actually an epic feat. I just thought that was an incredibly weak epic feat. I mean, epic feats are stronger. It's plus two to a tribute is an epic feat, right? And you can just take it as plus many times as you want. Oh, only plus one? Oh, God, that's awful. No, nah, plus... Uh, Plus four initiative again is, is a perfectly good epic feat then. Nah, I still think it's a terrible feat. By the time you get to epic levels, if initiative matters to you, you've got a 28 dex. Fair enough. As a player. Like even the deep spawn... Uh, it's got 29 strength, 27 con, and a 20 wisdom. Like the, those are some serious ability scores. And I just technically noticed that 34 hit die deep spawn still uh, has more hit dice than the dire uh, pule. Oh wow. Yeah, the Dire Bule is only 32. Okay, so we just rolled initiative. So we're on to Orion. Which... I will cast. Well, if I cast, then I'm just gonna get fucking attacked. Um. Does Rave Enfeeblement work on something like this, like an animal? I think so. Cool. I will Rave Enfeeblement that. Uh, the one right next to me. Okay. So he can make a check that does not hit. Yeah, he needs to crit you to hit you. Uh, He actually doesn't get a saving throw, but I do need to roll spell resistance. Which and, fucking And fails. you rolled a three. And I don't have prayer, so. Hey, you do. Everyone has prayer. Did oh, everybody does have prayer right now? Okay. specifically say you didn't get it? I don't think you had line uh, of effect to him when you cast it. No, he, he would have. I just don't. I don't remember you saying I had it. Uh, okay, well, I guess assume that you don't then. Okay, then that's a mess. You track your buffs. I don't remember. I, I think like for I some. specifically re- targeted you. There was someone you didn't hit. It yeah, it was Orion. Right. He was just around okay, the corner. Okay, probably Orion then. I think you guys started going down the deep spawn tunnel, and that's when the fight broke out, and Orion went into the tunnel, backed off to the north to get away from the monsters that were coming, and then the Smilodons came down that tunnel and blocked you off. It is what it is. All right, that's my turn. Or that's a first level spell. I can fucking... I'm gonna fast that. I'm gonna do a fast one as well. And see if I can't beat a spell resist. Oh my fuck. It's a first level spell. Let's swift this shit. Uh, that's plus... Fuck, that's plus 20. So 25 pass, I think, right? Yep, 25 is his uh, spell resistance. Your 20th Perfect. level for Rave and Feebleman? Uh, yeah, for all of my non-evocation, I have a plus 20. Okay. 
Then just roll your attack and not roll a three for the eighth time. So this is plus 13. Bingo. Uh, and here's a D6. It's plus one. So he takes a three point strength damage. Okay, uh, his strength is 32, so just remember he's minus 2 to damage. Minus 2 to damage. Okay, I will put something on his token. Uh, fuck. I think it's only going to affect you, so... Probably. That is my turn. That is standard my fucking movement and my swift three spells in one turn and only one did something fan fucking tastic yeah but they were first level spells it's not like you're out anything right just three spell slots yeah but three spell slots is basically nothing that's one greater magic missile true you could have just cast greater magic missile if that's what you wanted to do with three spell slots uh, I can't, because I don't have it. Uh, I'm out of third. Uh, the only thing I have left is my lightning bolt for my domain slot, and then I don't have my greater staff in my hands right now, my fireball staff. You have two hands, right? Uh, doesn't that interfere with somatic components and shit? Oh, yeah, it definitely would uh, affect your somatic components. I guess if you're casting spells, that makes a difference. Yeah. Because that's why I only keep one staff in my hand at a time. No, so I, I, I totally somatic. understand that. I was just saying that if you have a staff in your hand and you're using just staves to attack, then you could use your staff, one in each hand. You have both of them. That's true. Just means you have to drop one if you want to cast a spell or stow it. Okay, Xander, you're up. A question. This ledge that they're on, is that difficult to Can I fight for there if I drop the smiling on to attack that guy, or how does that work? You cannot five foot onto difficult terrain that you have to make a check to get onto. Fair. Um, that would be a jump or climb check. You can jump down from it, you just can't jump up onto it. That's reasonable. And uh, what is the acrobatics to move next to Orion? Uh... Well, it would be going through his square, and he's 24 hit dice, so that would be 49. Oh. Damn, okay. Uh, I was hoping the diagonal would give me some avenue, but correct, we can go through diagonals now that I think about it. Okay. Yeah, well, it, uh, you have to go through the square that he's occupying. Um, yeah. It looks like there's enough space there for you to squeeze through, but that's just the uh, artistic license of the token in the wall. That's fair. That square north of uh, Vanois is completely occupied by stone, and the one the Smilodon in counts as uh, occupied. Makes sense. I'm just going to take my frustration out on that guy. and 800! Uh, um, does Smilodon have to squeeze to get through here? Uh, Technically, yep. A body block, I guess. Give Vaughn with some breathing room, I think might be... The... Oh, right, there's another smart on. I see it now. Oh, well, decision we made. That's it. What do you mean there's another smart on? I, I didn't see one across the pillar next to Ferrance. Oh, okay, yeah. Those are the ones that jumped through from Orion last round? Yeah, I forgot about it. Oh, well. Body blocking is still probably important for... Vaughn were there. Okay, then we're uh, on to Vanwa. So I got a shot on the deep spawn. Uh, 
mechanics. Wow, only one hit. Well, you rolled a lot of nat twos and a nat four. It really did. It's good to know, no matter what happens, you will never change. Why are you critting at pl at 15? Perma prayer. Prayer. Oh, okay. Four natural fours. Incredible. Or, I'm sorry, four natural twos and a four. Keep forgetting the deep spawns actually got a ridiculous armor class. Two plus half your hit dice is a lot when you're 34 hit dice. Yeah. That's it for me. Good God. Okay, and then it is the Deep Spawn's turn. Yeah, I think he's pretty safe where he is. He'll move up and slap Xander silly. Kind of rude. You're 37, so one, two, three hits. Yep. You are correct. 24, 23, and 25. 